In this video, we're going to take a look at execute and edit mode. An execute and edit mode is an attribute that you apply to a class as a whole, and you apply it specifically to a mono behavior. So execute and edit mode basically changes the way that this mono behavior script works. And if we take a look over in our sample scene here, I have an object called place boxes, and I've added my exec in edit mode script to it. And what execute and edit mode does is all of the stuff, all of the Unity events are going to happen while we're in the editor, not hitting play mode. So basically, as we're moving around the editor, we have these, in this case, the start and the update available to us. And um, I guess I'll walk you through the script first. So we, we have two methods here, start, and this is going to be called um, whenever the script is initialized, so in our case, whenever we change the script and save it, then this start function is going to be called once. The update method is going to be called every time something changes, so every time we have to redraw this inspector um, when we're looking at this script. So um, if I start to move things around, for instance, I set the box to none, you'll see we kick off a couple of updates, I hit the box again, you see we'll kick off an update. So basically, every time something changes, that update gets called. Now, the way that I like to use execute and edit mode is uh, essentially I'll attach a, a button to it. And the way that I'll do that is by having a boolean such that when I check that boolean, then it will become true, it will set itself back false, so it'll reset the button state, basically, and then it will do some little snippet of code. So what we have here is a piece of code that's going to place some boxes. And every time I hit this place boxes, it's going to place four boxes in the scene, and it's going to make them a child of this game object, so they all move together. So I can hit this as many times as I'd like. And all we're doing is we're just calling instantiate. We're passing in the box prefab, and then we're just setting a random position, a random rotation, and then I'm setting a slightly random scale. And in the same way, we can destroy boxes. And every time that I click this, it's going to destroy one box. And I can keep doing this until all the boxes are gone. Uh, one slight change here, if we want to destroy things, typically we would just use the destroy method. Here we have to use something called destroy immediate. And the difference is that um, destroy, when you call that when Unity is playing, it actually destroys the object at the end of the current frame. Now we're in the editor, there are no frames happening. Unity is not running. So if we were to call destroy, the object would actually never get destroyed. Um, and Unity will actually throw up, it's either a warning or an error, if you try and destroy something. It'll tell you you have to use destroy immediate if you're using execute and edit mode. Um, so there are you know, kind of a couple minor changes, but most of the stuff that you can do in scripts, um, moving things around, modifying material parameters, adding components, all that kind of stuff, you can do using execute and edit mode, and that will happen in the editor. Now, there's a, there's a couple of things to go over with that. Um, the first and the most important one is that all changes are permanent. Everything that you do with this script does not go away. There's no sandboxing like there is when you hit play. So when I place these boxes, these are now here. Um, you know, essentially, if I hit play, the boxes are still there. If I hit stop, the boxes are still there. So there's no sandboxing. And you can very easily bork up a scene if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not careful. Um, now, of course, you can always save your scene, run your script. If something doesn't go correct, then just open up a new scene. It'll ask you, do you want to save your changes? You can hit no. So you kind of have some sandboxing in that way, but this is something to be careful with. A um, couple other things to note. Um, this execute and edit mode, as I mentioned, it's an attribute. It goes on a class. That class is just a regular old mono behavior. We didn't, aren't using Unity and or I'm sorry, Unity Editor. We're just using Unity Engine like we would with a regular script, and we don't place this script in the editor folder. We place it just like we do our regular scripts. And in fact, in every way, it is a regular script. And if I go over to my console and I clear this, and I hit play, then we're going to see that that update method is going to be called every frame. And at the very beginning, we're going to get that initialized call. So as soon as we hit play, this just behaves like a regular mono uh, behavior. So it gets its start method, it gets its update, it can get you know on collision enter, all the other stuff. So do keep in mind that anything that you have attached to this when you hit play can go and run. Um, and those, that's kind of the, the major overviews. So we can use this attribute, execute in edit mode, 
to essentially create a, a simple editor script that allows us to do stuff in our scene. It allows us to place things, to modify things, to probe the state of our scene and do things based on that. It's a very powerful tool. But of course it comes with some danger in that there's no sandboxing. So if you do something dumb, then that change is sort of in there permanently. And that, in a nutshell, is how we use the execute and edit mode attribute.